All right, so I don't know how many of you have been paying attention to what's been going on here, but to fill you in, they've recently discovered a mass grave of little children in Kamloops, Canada, in one of the residential schools. Now, this is by no means news. This has been well known, well documented for anybody that's been able to look past their TV screen and actually investigate the history and the events that have gone on in this country. You know, people got this blind nationalism and they're so proud of this crapshoot. You know, to hell with Canada as a country and as a crown corporation, to hell with the RCMP as an institution, to hell with the church, to hell with the media that has lied and covered it up for decades, to hell with these loudmouth, inbred racist fucks who use any tragedy to spew their vile hate and vitriol this is Canada's history, and this is Canada's shame. They found one mass grave at one residential school in one province. How many more are do you think are out there? And you know, that's the ones that weren't thrown in the furnace. Or, you know, who knows what. None of these officers or priests or nuns have ever been held accountable or punished for just despicable deeds that they committed to these people. <sighs> you know, people still trust government. You know, people still trust the RCMP. They will kidnap these fucking children and hell guns at the parents who just wanted to be with their children. Because government thinks they have the right to control your fucking children. That's messed up. That is psychopathic behavior. Because government is nothing but a bunch of psychopaths. And so are the goddamn fucking police. You know, anybody know where the Starlight Tour is? That's where these piece of shit RCMP officers will go and take somebody... And instead of taking him into jail or taking him to the drunk tank or for the night and letting him sober up, they'll drive them miles outside of the city without jackets, without shoes, in, in, in absolutely inclement weather and force them to walk back into town. How much of a despicable, evil sack of shit do you have to be to do that to another human being? You know, and people are okay with that. People want to go and all cry and boo-hoo when anything happens to an RCMP officer. They're nothing but hired thugs and mercenaries for the state and for industry. And you got people standing up for their lands and trying to protect the environment. You know, conserve the ecosystems for future generations to enjoy. Take it out of the hands of these fucking corrupt industrialists who have no morality or ethics to be spoken of. And then they go and just brutalize people. Brutalize and kidnap and rape and murder. Like, it's despicable that that kind of institution exists in a society and they are able to get away with what they get away with. There's no accountability. There's no consequences. They investigate themselves and find that, no, there was no wrongdoing. They were within their rights. You know, how many children die in foster care each year? Why is it so disproportionate that children in government care die at such an extreme rate compared to children 
that are able to be with their own parents. You know, it's just this beyond despicable what this system is and how vile and sick and twisted it all adds up to. It's just pure evil and insanity. You know, the last residential school closed in 1996. This isn't some far gone past thing a couple hundred years ago. This is literally in my lifetime that these abuses and atrocities have continued to go on. And only just because they say your residential schools are still shut down, it still fucking happens. You know, there was another indigenous person that died at the hospital because they refused them treatment. Oh, just another drunk. And then they had some internal bleeding and, well, they fucking keeled over and died. I read a story several months ago about how they just, like, literally dumped an indigenous woman who was in a wheelchair on the fucking ground and then just leaves them and walks away. Like, where are people's souls? Where is that, you know, feeling in your heart that, you know, that's another human being? I just, like, it, it boggles my mind. And it's like, well, the government needs a serious fucking overhaul. The RCMP need to be completely disbanded and just lock all those fucking criminals away for the rest of their lives. Why should they be freaking extended any humanity? They were just bought and paid for thugs. Hey, you want to behave like a thug? You can fucking get a thug treated like a thug. Go behind bars where you belong. You know, the Calgary Police Service, on their vehicles, it says Pride, or what, what is it? Courage, Vigilance, and Pride. They're proud of the evil that they commit. They're proud of raping and kidnapping and murdering. How fucked is that? You know, that's the police service. The fucking agents for the state that ensure your compliance and obedience to protect these corrupt and evil politicians that force their will upon the citizens and upon the populace. Literally, people think their rights come from government. No, your rights come from your very existence. Nobody's got the right to control you. Nobody's got the right to tell you what you can or can't do with your own body. And people just obey. They're just, oh, government told me, so I better listen. Better do what I'm told like a good little boy. That's people's mentality. You comply and obey for the very same people that murder children. Who excuse a bunch of nuns and priests raping little fucking boys and girls. Yeah, but nobody wants to hear it. Hey, just turn the fucking channel. Go watch something else. Go turn and watch your fucking sports and your fucking... All the other crap that they feed you. You know, just keep you distracting you with all this stupid entertainment. You know, reality TV and the fucking news. Why isn't the news covering that? You know, and I really wonder, why is this coming out now? What kind of narrative are they trying to manufacture? And what are they trying to draw our attention away from? Because like I said, this is by no means new news. This has been well exposed, well documented for decades. You know, they got little baby handcuffs that they use to take children away from their parents. And, you know, those parents were threatened with violence and arrest if they should ever dare resist the government mandates and the RCMP thugs that enforce it.
you know, it's a sick and twisted society and there's a hell of a lot of work and a hell of a lot of healing that needs to be done. <sighs> you know, steal your hearts because if they are going to start exposing this, there's going to be a lot of vileness that's going to come out. That's going to be revealed. You know, and unfortunately... A lot of these, you know, abusers are dead already. But hopefully, you know, since, again, it is still fairly recent, so there's got to be enough of these people. I hesitate to call them people. That were the abusers. There's still many in the church. And again, that's what disgusts me about people. This is the shit that the church has done. The shit that the RCMP has done, the shit that the government has done, and the shit that the media has done, and people still support these institutions. They believe these institutions. They think that these institutions tell the truth. They think that these institutions have humanity's interest. They don't. All they give a fuck about is themselves and profit. Nothing more. It's all business to them. We don't want to talk about human trafficking. Business. You know, there's a stretch of highway in northern Canada called the Highway of Tears because it has had so many cases of missing and murdered indigenous women. Cops don't give a shit. If anything, the cops are probably a part of it. It's like, guarantee fucking to you. They can end all that human trafficking. They got all the information. You know, they can find motherfuckers in a heartbeat. It's all in these databases. But they choose not to. They choose to just let it continue. Because, you know, I wonder how many, you know, of these politicians and these bankers and all these other kinds of scumbags are partaking in this. Like I said, fuck Canada. Why are you going to be proud of a shithole that murdered children and threw them all in a grave? You know, they came out with an article stating that Oh, there's probably so many dead children due to the fact of tubular kosis. I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that these children had multiple broken bones and infections. Didn't mention any of that. That doesn't jive with their narratives and with their agenda. You know, I really wish people would smarten up because... As a fucking species, we should be ashamed. Every little bit of the vision that the fucking system can exploit, they will pick at and pick at and pick at. Because they know people will fall for it. You know, as soon as this came out that there was mass graves of children, there were racist pukes that were happy to make jokes and fucking laugh about mass graves like disgusting absolutely disgusting that's the behavior these days nothing but insults and attacks no thought or dignity or humanity to be spoken of You know, and these fucking pathetic politicians that, you know, use these tragedies as an opportunity to shed their little crocodile tears, you know, feign their... 
sympathy. Acting like they didn't know. It's all a big fucking shock. They all knew. Every last one of them. They've spent years trying to cover it up. Anytime it comes out, it's always shut down. Media will maybe give a little peek. And then, oh, change the story. That's what the media does every day. They give you this story, get that narrative created, and that's what the people are talking about around the water cooler the next day. And then, oh, the next day, change the narrative. Get people talking about something else. Because people ain't gonna, you know, remember when there was the Panama Papers? All of the freaking multi-millionaires and billionaires dodging taxes and all the money laundering and then, oh, there was a little peep about it. Then, hey, there's a sports game. So we'll talk about that now. It's how easy the populace is to divide and distract. You know, that's the name of the game. Keep everybody looking over here and... Focus on that shit. Meanwhile, they're fucking doing all this shit over here. And it just continues like a big, crazy fucking hamster wheel. You know, like, my heart goes out to these poor souls and these poor families that, you know, they couldn't even give these dead children the dignity of getting buried by their own people. Parents whose children died requested their children's bodies. No, government controls your children's bodies when they're fucking dead too. Just another way the government has tried to attack and destroy the indigenous culture and traditions. I don't know what the fucking answers are, but I know that we seriously need to evolve and seriously need to start caring and giving a shit. Because mass graves of dead babies? Oh yeah, and don't worry, you know when there was uh, a lot of these places were flying the flag at half-mast in recognition of, you know, the dead children. Not the RCMP, though. RCMP couldn't be bothered to lower their flag. But if it was one of their own, oh, it would be national news. They got jets flying overhead. You know how much it costs to fly two freaking jets? No, they'll fly those overhead instead of putting that money towards, you know, poverty and homelessness, social programs actually given back to the people. Like, fuck these systems. How in the fuck do people live thinking that this existence is proper? <sighs> Insanity at its finest. Just keep running on that hamster wheel hoping you're gonna get somewhere where you're going nowhere. You know, like, there's not enough that we could do for these people with what's going on. You know, they would rape teenage girls. And then when they would get pregnant and give birth, they would just throw that baby in a furnace. And that was not, that, that, that was common. That wasn't a one-off thing. That wasn't, that was, that was the norm. You know, I ain't gonna fuck this, uh, the fucking church. Motherfuckers are so happy to do their little fucking Bible thumping, waving their fucking arms in the air, oh Lord Jesus. 
I wouldn't fucking piss on that son of a bitch if it was on fire. That's the most vile filth imaginable. Another form of mind control. They want you following their spirituality and their bullshit and their indoctrination. People are just, and people love it. You know how much disgusting, vile shit the church is responsible for? And people want to be a part of that. Like, despicable. Oh, time to evolve. Time to be better. Time to hold evil responsible. Why are there never politicians or police or fucking church pedophiles thrown in jail? They always get off. Because the whole goddamn system is corrupt to the fucking core. The justice system, the political system, the courts, the laws... And all their agents, the judges, the lawyers, the bureaucrats, all the fucking lobbyists and industrialists. It's a whole big, twisted, corrupt conglomerate. All used to fuck you. They will eat you up and take everything they possibly can and then spit you out and leave you with nothing. And they keep us divided. They keep us fucking hating each other and disconnecting from one another. Because they know an individual is weak. A population is strong. You know, a community. You know, together. You know, we need to stand with these people. We need to offer our hearts. You know, we need to listen to their stories. We need to hold their burden as well. We can't just turn our heads anymore. We can't just shut it off, turn the channel, plug our ears. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's, it's ugly. But you know what? It's real. It happened. People are hurting. How much trauma and addiction is there that's directly re directly related to the experiences that happened in these places? I don't know, it's fucked. I know we can only do so much, but we gotta do something. Can't just keep going on like it never happened and that it, you know, minimizing the impact and trying to justify it, that shit ain't gonna fly. We need to stand up, we need to speak out, and we need to start participating and creating solutions to hold these fucks accountable. Because trust me, politicians are still doing this shit, still getting away with it, still profiting off of trauma and misery, and they all fucking get off on it. It brings them joy to harm people and communities. <coughs> Feel that. How does it make you feel knowing that this system exploits children, robs children from parents, completely breaks up families, traumatizing parents, traumatizing children? These are members of our communities. 
How can we be a strong community when that's the kind of shit that goes on? All these dead foster children. All of these missing children. 800,000 missing children a year? They didn't just disappear. They're somewhere with someone. Oh, I hope we can say some prayers for the people, have say some prayers for the little souls that had no guidance, had nowhere to go, and whose life was struck out far before their time. You know, we need to share the burden. It's not, it's not theirs to carry on their own. We need to be there for one another. We need to listen. We need to uplift. We need to build something better. You know, maybe in the tragedy of death, we can allow people to come together and do better be better. I really hope that we can start doing more as a people, as a community, as a species. <coughs> oh, I think that about covers most of what I wanted to talk about. So, again, you know, thanks for listening. Hope I gave you some thoughts. I hope you investigate these. Go down some rabbit holes. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. But every bit of that that you take on yourself will lighten the load for others. So, fuck, give your kids a hug right now. Give them some love. You know, that could have been yours. Because government thinks it has the right to your children. That's how evil and corrupt and twisted to the very core that this system is. Ugh. <sighs> Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Mwah.